Welcome back everybody. We're here to pull cards for the 3rd of September. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy and after that I'll be pulling one card for each sign. And we'll just see how those energies meld and blend together. All right, let's take a peek at the overall energy. What do we have? The chariot. Ooh, we like it. Chariot talks about movement, can be about travel, talks also about reaching goals that are um, very specific type of goals. They're goals that we can't reach by ourselves, that we have to have at least the encouragement of other people, if not also the help. So we really like this card. It's a very successful card. It's one of the most, most fortuitous cards in the deck. So this looks like this is going to be a really nice day to read. It's a nice day to read. I like it. All right, Aries, what do we have coming up? Four of Wands. Look at that, look at that. And the Chariot. Aries definitely are going to be away from home doing some kind of traveling today, Aries. Well, that was easy enough. Let's move on to Taurus. Taurus, Two of Wands showing up in reverse. Taurus, you, on the other hand, may be taking a trip that you are not really um, choosing to take. You may feel like you kind of got back yourself backed into a corner and you have to make this travel that you were not expecting to today. Or maybe you were expecting to, but not really, not exactly thrilled about it. It's not bad, though, with the Two of Wands. It's actually going to turn out well for you, even though you're starting off with kind of a yucky attitude about it, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's look at Gemini. Okay, Magician showing up in reverse. Geminis, I think you guys are planning to travel today or you want to travel today, but it just isn't quite working out. It feels like there's a lot of different distractions pulling you other different directions that make it kind of hard for you to actually do this. Looking at Cancers. The lovers. Okay, so we've got some kind of travel happening with you guys. I do think that you're traveling along with somebody else today. Traveling or accomplishing some type of goal, but you're doing that with the help of somebody else or with the company of somebody else. Leo's Seven of Pentacles showing up here. Do, 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 do. Leo's, this is really interesting. This could be that you're... Our, um, earning a paycheck from doing some type of driving. Maybe you're driving for Uber or maybe you have a friend that's moving and they need help driving a vehicle and who knows. Um, the other thing that could be going on is you could be receiving a paycheck from a vehicle. So maybe you rent a vehicle out or something along those lines. And then the last thing that comes up is that um, you could be reaching some kind of target or goal that you've been working on with other people because the chariot does talk about targets or goals that are accomplished, but not by yourself, accomplished with a combination of people. And this is giving you the payoff or the payday. Very interesting. I would love to hear from some of you guys how this is actually manifesting in your life because those are some pretty different, some pretty different specific things that came out there. Now let's look at... That's Leo. We're looking at Virgo. Okay, so Virgo's Six of Wands showing up in reverse. This is just telling me that you are involved in a project that takes more than just you to actually accomplish this project. Um, and I think that you're doing a lot of the behind the scenes work. You're not getting a lot of credit for what you're doing. For some of you, that's just fine. You really don't want the credit, the accolades, the kudos, whatever. For others of you, this might be an issue um, as it plays out. But either way, either way, not getting a lot of credit, but definitely being involved in um, a project that benefits not only yourself, but other people as well. All right, so that's Virgo. Next up, we're looking at Libra. Nine of Pentacles for Libra along with the Chariot. Now that is really an interesting combination because the Nine of Pentacles is very independent, very self-sufficient. The Chariot is all about reaching a goal, reaching a target. Oh, this is what this is. Okay, so for Libras, you guys are traveling and you're traveling alone today, whatever it is that you're doing. Now, I don't think that 
your travel is something that you're the only person who knows about. I think somebody has helped you plan this travel. Or you're traveling, like say you bought a ticket from an airlines or a train company or a bus company, something like that. Um, so you're not, I don't feel like, I feel like either you're traveling alone and you could be driving or you're traveling I'm still going to say you're traveling alone even if you bought a ticket and you're using that ticket to ride. Hmm. But traveling alone, definitely. All right. Who was that? That was Libras. Next up, let's look at Scorpio. Page of Cups coming up in reverse. Interesting, interesting, interesting. This has to do with... Do, 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 do. Page of Cups in Reverse talks about letting somebody know how important they are to us. And with that chariot, I think we could be letting somebody know how important they are to us along with other people. This could be that, you know, we are, um, maybe we are planning together with other people a birthday party or an anniversary party or something like that where other people are involved in us letting someone know how important we are to them. This could also be as simple as, you know, having a um, a card that everybody in the office signs or everybody in the group signs and then give to somebody and let them know, you know, how we feel about them and how important they are to us. It doesn't even have to be as big as planning a party. But we are letting somebody know how we feel about them for sure. And we are not doing this alone. This is something that we're accomplishing with at least one other person, if not more. All right. So that's for who was that? Scorpios? Yes. All right. Next up, let's look at Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Six of Pentacles showing up in reverse for Sagittarius. What do we have going on here? Boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. Okay, so Sagittarius, I think that um, along with the help of um, some other people or some companies or something, we are paying something off or paying something back, but we are getting it so that it is not hanging over our heads anymore. We like that. Next up, we're looking at Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorn's Two of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Interesting. Hmm. Two of Pentacles in reverse along with the Chariot and the overall. Capricorns, I really feel like um, you guys could be doing some kind of travel or taking some kind of trip. I think you want to be really careful. Make yourself a checklist. Everything that you want to have packed with you. Make sure that everything on the checklist is in the bags. <laughs> it just looks to me like in your travels, something is forgotten or falls through the cracks. Okay, so make sure, you know, you have checklists, you know, your boarding pass, your toiletries, all that good stuff. Because um, always a bummer. Oh, you could be losing your luggage too. Might not be you could be making some kind of trip and then your luggage does not come with you. So interesting stuff there. Have a backup plan. Have a backup plan. All right. Next, let's look at, and that was Capricorn. Okay. Next, let's look at Aquarius. So Aquarius, we have the tower showing up for you guys. Do, 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 what's going on along with the chariot and the overall energy. Now, this is really interesting because the Chariot is incredibly fortuitous. It's one of the most fortuitous cards of the deck, as I said earlier in this video, with the Tower. And the Tower is a big shakeup, something that made us feel secure and safe, that we thought would be around and definitely is suddenly and unexpectedly removed from our experience. Here's the deal. With the Chariot in the overall, I think we're the ones that are making the shakeup. We're creating the shakeup. Okay, so we're making this shakeup happen. It's something that we actually chose. We realize that this needs to happen. And whatever is the shakeup that we are making happen, we are doing it successfully. We are doing it successfully. Some of us are burning bridges as we do this as well, just so you know. Some of us are burning bridges so that we cannot be tempted to go back into the old creepy tower 
we can only allow ourselves that that motivation to move forward into something that is better okay so that was Aquarius next up we're looking at Pisces okay so Pisces five of swords showing up in reverse with the chariot this tells me that there is some kind of travel on the agenda Pisces and I think that there's a compromise that is made around this travel where before there was some type of dispute or debate about it now there's a compromise that's being made so that everybody can be reasonably happy with this situation thank you everybody for being here today that's what I have Remember, if you got anything out of this video, put a thumbs up on it. If you know anybody else who would get anything out of it, please share it with them. And then, of course, also put your comments down below. Let me know. Am I actually on to something or am I just a wackadoo out here just talking into the camera and making no, no help for anybody? <laughs> Let me know. Everybody have a fantastic day. Peace out.